G'day folks, what's going on? Back with some more Age of Mythology and we are going to be doing or dealing with a bit of light sleeping. Sadly we don't get to do any of that light sleeping, in fact we gotta go wake up uh, this guy like, so, like the rude bastard that we are. Yep! That big sword that we uncovered in the lost relic, we're gonna go give it to this guy. He looks kinda green, but you know, whatevs. Yep, let's go, let's just get right into it. Now this is a very tricky level, but there is a way to get around it. And I think I can watch this video the without the game the crashing. Guardian, used by Horus to defeat Seth once before. Now one of his followers, Kemsit, seeks to take it. Kemsit? He is your enemy? He has captured a temple to Osiris near here. There is a Guardian at the temple, but it sleeps. If we return the sword to the Guardian, it will awaken. It seems the gods have smiled on us. Oh, well, oh, there's a bit of a lag there. <laughs> right. Let's go kick some ass. The oasis village near here is loyal to the dark god set. They enslave yeah, yeah, yeah. other local villagers to mine gold Into for Kemsit. Whoever the voice actress for Amunra is, she sounds very cranky all the time. Now, we're going to have to deal with a lot of these douchebags around here. So, we're going to have to practice our micromanaging. Because these guys are good against cavalry. That's what these guys are. They're archers, but they're also cavalry. Man. So, they're actually good against each other, which can prove to be a bit of a problem. Also, when these slingers come up here, try and kill them like, as quick as you can, because it's another pathfinding thing. They have to get to a certain point before they actually start attacking. So, move up as quick as you can, but don't move up too quick, because this place is full of nasty enemies. Yeah, and here are a bunch of dudes being sooks. Oh, we got sold into slavery. I guess that's kind of topical at the moment, so maybe I shouldn't make jokes about that. But, I'm in Australia, not America, so I'm not dealing with any of that stuff right now. Yeah, we gotta kill all these dudes. We're gonna have to practice our micromanaging because slingers are good against slingers, chariot archers are good against uh, the spearmen, and our heroes are good against the anubites. Drag them over a bit, but don't drag them too far. So focus them, focus your chariots on the spearmen, and of course focus your slingers on uh, the other slingers. Ah! I knew that was gonna happen. Yes. Take out those Anubites, they suck. And have I lost anyone yet? I think I lost all my Slingers. Yep, lost all my Slingers. That's because everyone in my army is crap. Don't just stand there. Now, they're not actually. There's still some Anubites left. So, I don't know why they do that. But, quickly get their attention- Ah, oh, they're attacking my freaking laborer again. Yeah, they do that for some reason. Leave my laborer alone! Alright, so I lost the laborer. Lost the laborer, and I lost all my slingers. But, you know. You win some, you lose some. Now, we got to take Oh, hang on. Yeah, keep your sword bearer with your sword of- now, we've got to take just five of these boys back. The rest, we are going to leave up here. And make sure you load them up with some gold as well. Yep, take all these boys back, keep these four here. Now, send your heroes forward alone. Alone! There are lots of nasties along the way that will eat all of your villagers. It's not cool. That's the first time that someone other than Chiron picked up that relic. Every single time I've gone to pick up that relic, it's always been Chiron. So I thought maybe they just had a thing against horse dudes. <laughs> we don't like centaurs around here. They took our gerbs. Now there's this thing where I, I don't know if it's a bug or if it was intended. But yeah, see, he spawns a little bit later. So keep your eye on him. Because you'll send the rest of you guys down afterwards, and then they'll get mummified. Into you, into you. Eh, let's bring our boys down. Into you. 
Leave the... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget your sword bearer. Curse the gods! Serpents! Why are you cursing the gods for? Well, you're in the middle of the desert. Of course there's going to be snakes, you idiot. Some people just look for things to complain about. Now, the reason why we're keeping those villages up there is because there's a lot of gold up here. And it is safe gold. As in, we're not going to get attacked by anyone up there. And there's a lot of these crocodiles. Alright, now we're safe. All in about five minutes. Very nice. Although, again, I did lose all my slingers, which I wasn't... It... <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is. At least I kept all my chariot archers. That's an, that's a that's a plus. Yep. Now we're back in town. Hello, sword bearer. Our men have returned. Thank you, strangers. Kemsit forced us from our home, the sacred city of the Guardian. We will join you to defeat him. Now this is where things get fun. We need to. Bring the sword to the sleeping guardian before his army reaches it. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, so you got all those cities around there and they are all gonna get destroyed. Except maybe the third one. We kinda wanna act before that happens. Noise. Kemset's army is returning to the city. Only the neighboring villagers stand in his way. That's great, yo. Buys us some time, even if it means that they all have to die. But again, you win some, you lose some. Uh. Yep. Every time you hear that, it means they're uh, they're rocking up. Army has reached the first village. You know, I reckon I could beat that army quite easily, actually. Bunch of priests, bunch of spearmen. Easy. But no. We have to take the sword to the Guardian, who's over there. Surrounded by a freaking massive army. Now, five dudes on wood. That should be enough. Get some priests. Priests are nice. Because we're playing as Ra, means we can... Uh, uh, what's the word? Oh yeah, priests can empower buildings, which is always good. You're going there, you're going there. Is that all of them? Alright, sweet. Sweet! We can invoke rain from Ra. Rain from Ra. Stop rolling your R's. Uh, eight farms. Alright, good. Eight villages. Very nice. Ooh, he did vision. Spooky. Send a send a priest up here, because we are going to build some obelisks along here. But don't do it too early. I did that, and it made my game a lot harder. I started getting attacked by a lot of very scary monsters because they know. Eh, no, not what I wanted. Whatever. All right, that's enough. Rain from Ra. So yeah, we are against the clock on this one. Oh, great. Now I realize I gotta pee. Oh, such is life. Hiya. Come on. There we go. Now, we. I would like to go through Bast. She gets uh, Sphinxes, and they are so cool. And also Sacred Catch, which means... Uh, Villagers farm quicker. Um. Oh yeah, that doesn't help at all. But no. I so under normal circumstances we would go through boss, but this time we're going to go through pata. 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 Sorry. Um. Yep. Get your. Get your. Uh, your monuments going. Now some people have been able to do this level in like ten minutes. I don't know how, but we are not doing that. I think that is crazy. 
Right, my resources are coming in nice, that's what we like. Keep them resources coming. We're gonna need them. Rig. So what we're going to do is we are going to Here. shift in sand, because that's the power we get through going through Patar. We're gonna shift in sand into the back of their base. Because if you'll notice, these all have walls, except for this little section right here. That's where we're gonna go. You can go through the front way, it's totally possible. But it's a lot harder. Great. And a lot more Great. infuriating. Alright. Nice. Very nice. Get your upgrades. Upgrades are nice. We want them resources coming in. Solid. Uh, nice and quickly. Get some more villages just for building, really. Because it takes forever to build. Oh yeah, I forgot as well. I'm gonna build two more farms. This is just my playthrough, but um... Food and gold are the most important resources as... Uh... The Egyptians. Always build two barracks. Never... At least two barracks. Never have just one. It makes things a lot harder. That will help as well, because we are going to get attacked by a lot of uh, chariot archers. Now we're not going to try and teleport into the back of their base until the heroic age at least. Because even though we're going in the back of their base, we will still have a lot of things to deal with. So we're going to need some armory upgrades. Get another priest to help build. It takes so long! Um, axe man. I've no, got no food again. What the hell, guys? Why is my food always the worst thing? Look at that. That's actually going at a decent speed now. Yeah, and you'll be able to follow them the whole way through, which is always helpful. Get you. Get an armory. They haven't attacked yet. It's surprising. Now, you can get wadgets if you want, but I would advise against it. They are so useless. They don't do anything. Into Into you. You. You now, unlike in the last level, we are actually going to make spearmen. We're going to be making multitude of these. Hi up! Yes, can you tell I'm very impatient? Where did you come from? This is random spearman. <laughs> He's not meant to be part of Kemset's army. But, whatever. Not my issue. Now, you don't have to spread out your monuments like I'm doing. Because we are not ISIS. If you're ISIS, it means your monuments are protected. How much of a difference is that? Doesn't seem like that much of a difference, but whatever. Yeah, as I was saying, ISIS monuments protect your, your city from god powers. So, that's the ISIS. So if I tried to cast vision or something like that there, wouldn't be allowed. It'd say, nope, none for you. Got some slingers again. Why haven't they attacked yet? I'm all nervous now. Maybe they're just gonna run in and steamroll me. Let's build some towers. Towers are good. Oh yeah, we didn't watch the tutorial video, so uh, I'll explain. Uh, that monuments are what give you favor. The more monuments you have, the more favor you get. Into you. <clears throat> Why do I have an uneven amount of axe men? That's weird. Uh oh. <coughs> Sorry. Yep, I'm gonna go to the next stage as soon as possible. 
Seriously, why the hell haven't I been attacked yet? Attack me! You're making me nervous. Alright, I'll force you to attack me. Let's go build some obelisks here. That will really bug the hell out of him. Seriously. Uh, also, um... I like to go through Hathor because uh, she has uh, laser beam crocodiles, which are friggin' awesome. But, we are gonna go through Sakhmet for this one. Because she has scarabs. And they are absolute tanks. I'm going through all the bloody gods that I don't want to. Yeah, so, when you build this, they'll have like a dude that's usually just scouting around. And so, it will force their massive army around here to want to go and attack it. But they have to get through me first, which is terrifying. Oh yeah, and they have a frigging crap load of Avengers, which are not the Marvel Avengers, obviously. Well, what did I just click on? Oh, that's that. Right. Yeah, not the Marvel Avengers, but uh... Where are they? Those things! If you look at the top right hand corner, you'll see them. Um, they are really, really strong. Like, surprisingly strong. It's unbelie unbelievable how strong they are. Nice. Let's build a market, because I've got a lot of wood. Lol. Uh, I've got no gold. Why do I have no gold? Oh, they're there. Kemset's army is pillaging the second village. Well, what do you want me to do about it? What happened? Oh, okay. Weird. Oh, yeah. Too fitty. Come on, there we go. More gold, please. I, that's, a, that's a bit of a rookie mistake. I really should have had those uh, a lot earlier. Oh, here they come. That's really not much, but you know, whatever. Like, they left me long enough that I actually had a, a, a decent sized army. Well, not really an army, but, you know, enough to defend myself with. Uh, make those stronghold. That's what we want. When I got enough gold. We'll need a strong force to escort the sword bearers to the Guardian. Cheers, bro. I was gonna make a really weak force to get to the Guardian. Thanks for reminding me. Why does everyone think I'm a retard in this? Don't answer that question. Uh... Nice. Once we got all these upgrades, then we're gonna do our shifting sh sh shifting change, shifting change. You say shifting sands. These guys are taking forever. Oh yeah, and sometimes they'll get stuck up here. Which is nice, but don't count on that. I got a lot of wood, and I got no gold. Ooh, um, upgrade that. Wood is a little bit more uh, necessary in this because we make chariot arches. And they come in handy. Scarab! Nice. Alright. Oh, nope. Oh, see, now I'm out of wood. This game can't make up its mind. That's good. Nope, need more gold. 
That's it. That is that is my life in this. Nope, I need more of this. Nope, I need more of that. Thank you. Oh, I need to build my houses as well. Scarab. Scarab. Got it. Into you. Horses. Uh, sorry, elephants, not horses. They're not horses. That was silly. Why did I say that? Houses. Oh, I only get four more. Eh! Here they come. <laughs> ah! And of course, they go straight from our freaking villages. Not cool, bro. So yeah, their attacks are really never that worrisome. Unless, of course, you uh, build your obelisks too early. Because if they get discovered, they come full force. I think I lost a chariot. No, not my chariot. Keep building. Wood. That's right. Upgrade my chariots and my my elephants. Elephants are also very good units. Keep going. When I was a kid, every time I clicked on that, I thought it was a dude going. <laughs> but no, it is a it is a saw cutting wood. Now, when we shift our, our sands, um, make sure that you don't do what I did in my first playthrough and forget to send the bloody sword bearer. That was very silly of me. I was like, alright, send him over. Like, wait, where's my sword bearer? Oh, I forgot. Why did I do that? That was silly. Do I have any spearmen? Into you. No, but I lost a lot of axemen. Now you can't send that many, but you know, send as many as you can, because uh, you'll you'll send them you'll send them round, but they have very quick reaction time. But yeah, this is a decent sized army. Got all my boys. Um, yeah, this should be fine. Let's just make sure that we can actually send them all. Alright, um, looks good. Oh crikey, um, let's just, let's just bunch up a little bit guys. Forget formation, just bunch up, nice and close. I don't think there's a limit on how many people you can shift, but we'll find out. Oh no, we're all there. But means I'm now completely defenseless. But, you know. Whatever. Get a few scarabs and some elephants to. Oh, no. Scarabs and some elephants! Thank you. To just defend your base while you're not there. No, it's not that! Don't let them attack! Because once they start attacking things, things get. Oh, yep. Yeah. There you go! Smashing. Get him! Oh, I lost a villager. Oh well. Just as long as this army doesn't fail. Because as soon as, as soon as the sword bearer gets to the guardian, you've won. Doesn't matter. But we got to get past a town center and their army, which will very quickly come here. Oh wow, they they go on a town, aren't they? So just don't attack the town center. Not until you see their army. Do you actually engage? Alright, send your sword bearer straight there. Alright, yeah, now let them do whatever they want. Because it's too late! Ah! Stop that! Stop that! Naughty! Oh, I forgot to upgrade that as well. Lol. Kemsit's army has entered the, the sword bearers. Doesn't matter, I win. Yep, yeah, there's their army. 
Yeah. You got, I mean, look at that, look at that attack. That's a lot of damage. And they'll just completely forget about the third village and just be like, ah, go get him. Oh, everyone's dead. Oh, well. I got my guardian. He's my guardian. Oh, they're still... What are you waiting for? I said get in there. Get him, Ramses. Everyone is dying. This is a, a strange win because on the one hand, I've got my city being destroyed. And on the other, I am destroying their city. Yeah, just let him do his thing. But yeah, when I first did this, a bunch of them got stuck up here, so I had to send the Guardian over to them. It's like, you inconsiderate sods. Well, I suppose I'm the one that did wake him up. You rude bastard! Yeah, see, they, they just don't care. They're just going hell for leather at, uh, at, my, uh, at my Guardian. Smack him! Smack him down! Yeah, see, and because his attack is siege damage, it's like splash damage, meaning that when he hits one, he's hitting them all. Once he kills the army, that's it. Game over. Well, game over. You're victorious. Who are you? Hey, they have a Ramses as well. What happened to my Ramses? I think he died. Oh no, he's still alive. Good on you, Ramses. Alright, everyone get back to work. I don't care that I've already won. Just because you're victorious doesn't mean you stop working. Yay! And that is Light Sleeper. Although he wasn't really a Light Sleeper. I had to run up to him and jab him with a bloody sword. Hey, get up! Alright. That was Light Sleeper. Next is Tug of War. Now that is a short level. And also very easy if you know what you're doing. It's, uh, I just hear my plea that I'm not looking forward to. But that is in the future. But I will see you all in the next video. Till then, stay safe and, of course, keep it real.